Week one of the high school football second season as the playoffs kicked off tonight. Several of our local teams were in action, including Fredonia, Southwestern, Casadega Valley, and Frewsburg. But we start with the Jamestown Red Raiders as they host their fifth straight home game. Lockport out at Strider Field for the class AA corner finals. Jamestown hosting their first home playoff game in almost a decade. First play of the game, JHS defense was swarming all over the Lockport quarterback Luke Hinton. Ben Whitney would get credit for the two-yard sack. He had 13 tackles on the game. Go to the two plays later, Lockport third and log. Hinton on the keeper. He stripped by Whitney, picked up by Mike Watson. Scoop and carries it 53 yards to Paydirt. The point after touchdown is good. Jamestown up seven to nothing. Lions would answer on their next possession. Hinton is going to go to the air. It's a 41 yard pitch and catch to James Chambers. That sets up the Lions first and goal. Next play, direct snap to Chambers. He's gonna run over one of the Red Raider defenders on his way to the end zone. The extra point is no good. It was 7-6, Jamestown a half. And the Red Raiders win a nail biter 10 to 6. They will play the Lancaster Kenmore West winner next week. Let's head cross county out to Dunkirk, where Fredonia was hosting Casadega Valley in the Class C quarterfinals. First quarter, first drive, second play. Connor Farnham on the keeper. Nothing else to say. He's gone. 54 yards to the end zone. Extra point is good. 7-0 Billies. 227 left in the first. It's Deja Farnham. This time he's going to scamper up the sideline, get a couple of blockers, knock over a couple of Cougar defenders. He's gone to Pater. 59 yards. It's 14-0 Fredonia. End of the second corner. Farnham can throw the ball too. Finds Jude Gardner for the touchdown. Billy's up 21-0 at halftime. They go on to the 42-6 win and will host the winner of our next game next week. We come back to Lakewood here in the Class C quarters. JFK at Southwestern, the winner gets those Billies next week. 20 to nothing already, Trojans on the ground. Jake Swan to Dan Pretrocello. He gains five yards and it's first and goal. Next play, Swan decides to keep it himself. QB keeper breaks two tackles and gets down to about a yard and a half mark from the end zone. One more handoff, Petrocello finishes what he started, finds the end zone, extra point is good. They go up 21-0, go on to the 41-14 win and will play the Billies next week in the right to move on to the Ralph. Class D quarterfinals, Frewsburg welcomes international prep at Grover to the Bears' den. 12-0 Frewsburg mid first, the Bears' D wants to pitch the shutout. Chad Intahar with the sack forces the punt and on that punt you'll see it coming. Presidents get off a good one but they may have out kicked their coverage. Preston Wiltsey starts off right, sees the cavalcade of blockers to his left and that's where he's going to go where he eventually gains about 30 yards on that punt return setting up the Bears offense. Frewsburg goes to the triple option on that next possession. Thad Johnson hands it off to Dalton Peterson, takes the handoff and goes off tackles for an eight yard game. Next play, Devon Adelgren. He's gonna show off that 40 yard dash time. Finds the hole, hits the hole. He is gone. The two point conversion is good. Bears go up 20 nothing. They cruise to the 41-0 win. They will play at Randolph in the semis next week, setting up a red grudge match. Frewsburg lost at Randolph first mm -hmm. game of the season by two, missing a couple of their pieces. So a huge rematch next week. Maple Grove has a bye week. They will also play next week. Panama and Clymer, that game has been shifted to tomorrow night at 7.30 over at Southwestern. So okay. Pirate and Panther fans just make note of that one. It's now at 